Hi, I'm Prentice Weathers, the product manager for SidePower AC thrusters and hydraulic thrusters. SidePower has been making thrusters um, for a long time and uh, manufactures more thrusters than all others combined. So um, they have a very strong presence and one of the reasons is their wide range and the reliability of SidePower thrusters. Um, SidePower makes DC thrusters proportional DC thrusters, external, retracting, all sorts of things. We're here to talk about hydraulic and AC today. So the side power thrusters are, are sized by uh, a part number and a model number that defines the amount of thrust you get from a thruster, the tunnel size, and in the case of, of hydraulic thrusters, the size of the motor. So uh, an SH240 slash 250 TC-U11, for instance, would, would be uh, 240 kilograms of thrust in a 250 millimeter tunnel. That's about 10 inches. And it would have uh, a variety of different motors that are, and the reason that that is, is because uh, a lot of hydraulic systems can produce pressure and flow in different ranges. Uh, commercial fisher Fishermen, for instance, use low pressure and really high volume. Uh, yachts tend to want to keep everything small, so they'll use high pressure and low flow. So we can accommodate any requirements that your hydraulic system has. SidePower also manufactures complete integrated engineered hydraulic systems. So we'll do all the engineering, produce all the documents that gives you the hose diameter and pressure ratings and, and all that sort of thing. And we build the proportional or on-off control system. For hydraulic system. Um, the power of side power thrusters is um, the most efficient on the market. In other words, for every amount of power you put into the motor, you get more thrust out than any other uh, manufacturer. Side power thrusters are very, very um, uh, powerful and efficient. And the reason for that is several fold. One is the, is the design of the props, the five-blade Q-prop. Um, they have very low noise. They're counter-rotating in most sizes. Um, so you'll get equal thrust in both directions. Another reason that the side power thrusters are so efficient is not, as I said, it is the prop design, but it's also the gear leg design. It's a streamlined gear leg. It's the smallest um, diameter in, of any uh, of the thruster manufacturers out there, size for size. And that's a good thing because the amount of power you can get out of your thruster has, a, has to do with how much water you can push through the tunnel. Um, if you have a large area of the tunnel occupied by, by the bronze or uh, whatever the material is, um, stainless in some cases, but bronze in the case of side power. If that's taking up a whole a lot of volume in the uh, in the tunnel, there's very little room for the water to to go by. So it has to speed up. There's a lot of turbulence, and it's not going to be as efficient. This is a bent axis hydraulic motor. We make gear gear motors for the smaller ones. As I said, we match them up with your hydraulic requirements. Um, the larger sizes can be can be serviced. The gear oil, the lubricating oil in the hub can be serviced without removing the thruster, and, the, and that's on the commercial thrusters in particular. And on the smaller thrusters, uh, they use a sealed gear leg, so it's sealed, sealed for life. For more information on, on hydraulic thrusters, please come to our website, imtra.com, and um, we hope to see you there. SidePower's AC thrusters are made in 10-inch uh, tunnels all the way up through 24-inch tunnels. The, um, the guts of the matter, the, the propeller, the gear, uh, the gear leg, um, the saddle fitting, uh, everything is identical with it to other thrusters from side power, whether it's a DC thruster, or hydraulic thruster, or AC. They all share the same uh, uh, propulsion mechanism. The only difference is, I'm looking at a hydraulic thruster here, um, hydraulic arrangement here. This is the AC motor, obviously. Um, this is actually a, just a stand for the boat show to separate uh, the, the hub 
uh, and, and uh, saddle from the motor. Um, normally, there would be a coupler in between the input shaft to the thruster and the output shaft to the motor. And you can separate the motor as much as you need to in order to fit your installation. And um, you can also mount this horizontally. And again, you can separate the motor and, and mount it in the bow with a thruster back behind, uh, back aft. Um, in that, whatever length needs to, uh, to accommodate your, your needs. And it also includes a pre-programmed variable frequency drive, in the, or VFD. Um, everything is set up by side, side power at the factory. You just simply hook up the wires and, and the system's going. The other components involved in the AC thruster, which are included, are um, a, an EMC filter, the uh, noise filter, if you will, and a proportional controller. And all those are pre-engineered, all you do is literally plug and play, provide power to the VFD and then power to this box here, which powers the motor. And um, then the side power S-Link, which is a CAN bus uh, system, um, communicates, uh, carries the communication up to your joystick and you can have as many joystick panels as you want. You can have uh, remote controls, you can hook it into your joystick system. And that's, that's true for hydraulic systems as well, um, proportional control. Um, in as many stations as you want. So um, that's about it for AC thrusters. Please visit us at infra.com. Thank you.